Welcome back to Teshkid FX for another price prediction update and in this video I'll be giving you a price prediction update on Phantom whose current price stands at the 0.3863 dollar mark and here on trading view the market is up by 1.23 percent and in this video I want to give the key scenarios that I expect to play out basing my analysis on the idiot waves and also the key areas of support and resistances and also show you the key patterns that you have information on this chart and I'll start the video by giving a brief of what has been happening on this chart from the all time high Phantom has been seeing lower prices in this massive ABC correction which has now taken us to around the 0.20 dollar mark and having done that I believe Phantom has done the minimum that we expected it to do in its ABC correction and soon we might see a pump to the upper side and maybe also take us to an all time high but in this video I want to focus on the key scenarios that I expect to play out on this chart and also show you the patterns that you have information and I'll start by zooming in on the daily chart Here on the daily chart you can see we have been trading within this channel and as we were trading within that, that channel we managed to break to the upper side, we managed to break above a key area of resistance here on the daily chart, we even had a retest here on the daily chart and we continued pushing higher and if I jump to the 4 hour chart for further analysis, here on the 4 hour chart you can see that this is the same same channel that I have showed you on the daily chart and as we are trading within this channel we also formed a pattern right here which is a double top it's not a perfect double top but it's a double top then we did not manage to break to the lower side because this is a pattern that normally breaks to the lower side having the target area of the breakout as the height between the tops and the neckline and that would take us to around the 0.23 dollar mark but that movement didn't play out because down here we had a key area of support which gave us support at around the 0.28 dollar mark and we saw a very nice bounce to the upper side we managed to break above this key area of resistance and here on the 4 hour chart you can see we had a retest of this area after having that retest, that gives me the key scenarios that I expect to play out on this chart. It's possible that we might continue seeing higher prices here on the phantom chart and because we have seen a retest we have massive support for us to continue pushing higher and get to this key area of resistance up here at around the 0.4 dollar mark which is the area that we are just about to approach and if we manage to break above that key area of resistance then I expect to see a retest here on the 4 hour chart and maybe also on the hourly chart and also maybe on the daily chart and once we see a retest then higher prices could be coming our way we might continue pushing higher and even go above this key area of resistance at around the 0.42 dollar mark and once we manage to break above that then we can continue pushing even higher it's possible that we might not be able to break above this key area of resistance right here and if that move plays out then i will expect a pullback here on the charts and in that pullback it's possible that we might continue unlocking even lower prices and get back to around the 0.32 dollar mark where we have a key area of support which has given us support a couple of times and at that point we can then find support and have a reversal to the upper side and in case we lose that key area of support and maybe have a retest then that could take us to around the 0.28 dollar mark where we have our next key area of support and if I also take a look at the indicators to see whether these movements will be supported here on the RSI you can see we are trading at around the 64 mark and that would mean we have a little bit of room for us to continue pushing higher so if we manage to continue pushing higher to that key area of resistance that movement here on the RSI will be supported before we get into the overbought region and soon see a reversal to the lower side and in case we find a pullback at that key area of resistance that movement here on the RSI will still be supported if I also take a look at the MACD, here on the MACD we are seeing a little bit of a decrease in volume and soon we, are, we, we might be printing something here on the 4-hour MACD so let's be patient and see how that plays out and I'll keep you updated.